What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Path to Glory, Diego Jota. Diogo? Diogo Jota, that's right. 90 rated Portuguese right wing and he is the SBC for today. And I have learned basically what the upgrades are. So basically, for instance, for this card, you have the opportunity of three, four, five and six wins. The third win will take you into a plus two overall, so it got to 92. The fourth win takes a plus one, so you got to a 93. And the fifth win goes up to a nine, uh, another plus one, which would go up to 94. The sixth win would give him the five star, five star. So that's absolutely brilliant for anybody who's got three star, three star. If they do manage to get six, which I believe you've got three qualifiers or three group stage, for instance, and then you go into the knockout. So realistically you need to be winning them free group otherwise you're looking like you have to potentially win pretty much everything bar to the semi-final so to get they've not made it easy obviously because otherwise everybody would be just absolutely cracked but they've made it to the point where potentially the free wins has become op big teams like obviously france portugal germany even though they are all in the same league or the same group it will be they, I think they will do it. I think they still can do it quite easily. I've got high hopes for Portugal. Jota's coming in at a whopping 314,000 coins. But he is Prem. And obviously Portugal are one of the favourites to go through quite far. So for me, I think after holding on to his one to watch for God knows how long, this is actually not a bad card. Right wing, great pace increase. He's gone from the highest rated card of him, which is an 85, all the way up to a 90. Obviously, he did start this year with an 80, and he's a 4-star, 5-star. And I think I think he was a 4-star, 5-star before. Yeah, he was. So he's always been a 4-star, 5-star. He just looks absolutely tremendous. Genuinely a really nice player. Obviously, we've had Bale. We've got Mares, We had Salah. There's loads of right wings from the Prem. So in terms of kind of like... Is he going to be battling for his position? Yeah, of course he would be. He's got so much competition in the Prem, especially being the Prem as well. Obviously, acceleration is absolutely fantastic. Sprint speed with a Hunter goes up to 97. Um, we get 99 finishing with the attacking positioning and shot power. We've got great dribbling from him. His strength aggression, not bad to be honest. Good stamina. Jumping, we don't expect too much from and passing. Is probably a just above average in my opinion. And in the trades, we've got solid player. Unfortunately, that is it. So let's jump into Jota and see what this man can do. Jota making that run. Can we hold out the defender? There it is. Oh, he got it on the touch. Beautiful tackle from it. We'll give him that. Wait for that last touch that literally just sent him that he couldn't do anything. This dribbling is the most annoying out of anything. Jota with the tackle on Jota. That's lovely stuff. Can we find a little bit of a pace? Let's have a look on these. Come over all the way to the left. Baku, obviously a very, very fast right back as well. Lovely. Oh, we just miss out on Nedved there. Get the corner, but it, it feels quick. Nothing massively special just yet. But obviously, we'll, we'll give him benefit of the doubt to start with. We're only 15 minutes in. Jota going with the 1-2. There's that pass. That's beautiful. What can we find? Inside. He's read it like a book. To be honest, that one was pretty easy to read. Oh, Jota. Lovely dribbling. Okay, okay. That's that's poor from myself. But you can already see the potential from him. I can see a lot of different animations kind of being used in terms of his stopping. The, the kind of uh, on-the-ball sort of technique slash animation is very, very nice for him. You could get it quite right with him as well. Like, he just... It seems like he's just touching the ball different kind of like style. It's really nice, actually. Something a bit different. Very clean, very agile, like we kind of already knew it was going to be. And I feel like he's going to be one of them ones that, if you can get that pass in right, it's going to be an absolute dream to have him on the attack. Gertz on the inside. He's got to have won that foul. I don't understand some of these fouls. Like, genuinely, when they've... Uh, that one, maybe not as more uh, as much. But I've seen some absolutely atrocious fouls. And literally not even a blink of the eye. Gertz are in. Oh, that's a poor pass back. I wanted to go for Jota, but unfortunately, did not let me. Jota, beautiful. That's what we want to see from him. Lovely little bit of footwork. And Jota's free kicks. No accuracy, unfortunately. What do you reckon? Roberto Carlos, top bins. It's got to be really, hasn't it? It is Roberto Carlos. Oh, the swerve. Jota down the wing. 
Yeah. Oh. It's a shame that that's the second time he's done that, and yet he's only getting a yellow card for it now. That was atrocious defending from Virgil. Jota. Weakness. Weakness there. Oh, that's got to be lovely stuff from Jota. 90th minute winner. We go in 4-3 against a very, very toxic opponent. We've managed to come back and Jota, I believe, could have been a hat-trick by now. Goods are into Jota for one more. We've gone past the keeper. It's a lovely assist from Jota. And it's a beautiful take from... Uh, no, it's a lovely assist from Goetze and a beautiful take from Jota. Little dink into Jota. Gets his foot on it. Whip a ball in. Solid. Uh, at the minute, Jota definitely worth the coins 100% at the moment. Jota steaming through. Oh, you love to see it from him. Ah, so get, the, get the corner. Get the corner. We knew that we were probably done out there. There was nowhere to go. So a corner is probably the best outcome. Good, sir. He's going to see in a bit of Jota. Little chip. Beautiful. Beautiful start. Great assist again from Goetze. Jota finishing off everything on his plate. Jota with a stunning ball into Nedved. Does have to break a little bit of stride. But he gets fouled. Oh, Jota again, finishing everything. So going into the overall then for Jota. So in terms of the SBC, it is an 86 rated team and an 87. Good thing is 60 chem, 55 chem. Really not that hard. Couple of strong links. Maybe even get a cheeky perfect link. You're absolutely golden. One Liverpool player and a Portuguese. Obviously, Bernardo Silva. You could even go as low as Guerrero. You go uh, Rafa, Pizzi. There's a, there's a few. There's a few amount. Obviously, the higher rated, the more they're going to cost due to the fact that obviously you need it for this. Um, then same with Liverpool. If you're going for high in form uh, walkouts, then more than likely they're going to be a little bit inflated for the moment. But they will drop down, and there is plenty of other options. Thiago. Uh, you could go as low as someone like probably like an 83 I'm thinking I'm trying to think who's even 83 in their squad to be honest they're Matip Matip you could go Matip and to be honest he may be a bit inflated but it can't be that much because obviously it doesn't reach the rating so you're not paying necessarily a luxury of having an 86 or 7 as well as a Liverpool player it is a lower rated player so you're having to put in somebody or somewhere else in terms of Jota, finished everything, absolutely sensational stuff, really good at going forward, nice silky dribbling, agility wise was brilliant, obviously he ran with the ball fantastically, lovely 4 star, 5 star, there was literally no uh, kind of hesitation for anything with him, his pace was good, shooting was very very good, managing to score I think about 5 or 6 in 2 matches which was brilliant, obviously dribbling wise you can't argue, passing again above average but for me I think he's, he's not nice at passing it's nothing like to write home about but most definitely the biggest thing for this card is that he is upgradable so obviously when we come to portugal's first match which we will have a look at obviously very professional over here and we know exactly what their matches is we're not loading up live score no no sponsor but if they want to uh so we've got what's saturday let's have a look so saturday my controller's decided it wants to throw a wobbly one. Um, Sunday then. So they're playing Sunday or Monday. So they're playing... Mon Are they even playing Monday? Are they playing Tuesday? This is great, honestly. I, I, I thought they were going to be way sooner than this. Yeah, it looks like they're potentially playing Tuesday, which is just mad. I don't know. They're playing at some point, and I don't know when. They're playing one of the days. So obviously, once we get that first win... This card obviously can't go up in price, but obviously a lot of people will be completing him just for the fact that they could go up. Three wins, he goes up to a 92. Four wins, he goes up to a 93. Five wins to a 94. And then if he does get six wins, obviously he then becomes a 94 with a five-star, five-star, which will be incredible. But whether they do it is the next question. Overall-wise, I think he was fantastic. I'd say a solid 9.3 out of 10. Let me know down below if you're going to complete him or if you have completed him. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.